starting off, you've got people who have AIDS and don't have AIDS. And then within those two groups, they, they are found positive or negative according to the test. For part A, it says 5% is really infected. So 5% has it, 95% of the population doesn't have it. And if they have it, there's a 100% chance that they'll be found positive, which means there's a 0% chance that they'll be found negative. And if they don't have it, it's got a false positive rate of 0.5%. So this would be 0 0.005, and this would be 0.0. 995. So when you multiply down the down the trees, you get those numbers right there. And it says find the probability that a person who tests positive, a person who tests positive, really has AIDS. So the, the people, the person that they sorry, the probability they have AIDS given that they test positive. So the test positives go on the bottom. And just those with AIDS goes on the top. And that equals 0.9132. So part B says, well, what if uh, more than 5% of the population actually had it? So if that 0 0.05 was some bigger number, um, would, would that 0 0.9132 be bigger or smaller? Well, if the 0 0.05 is a bigger number, like say it's 0 0.1, then that, that formula would become 0 0.1 over 0 0.1 plus something smaller than 0 0.00475. So clearly I think that that 0 0.9132 is going to go up. So for part B, it's higher. For part C, assume now that a low-risk population is to be tested. Specifically, assume 1% of the population actually has it, um, and we've still got the same false positive rate. So now, my tree is going to be essentially the same, but this is 1% and 99%. Oh, thank you, 0.01%. That's this, isn't it? Okay, so this is a pretty low risk uh, population. And they changed my false positive rate on me too, huh? Making sure I understand how my percentages and decimals work. So this is 0.00005. Oh, and we still got a one and a zero. So I get that. And then, and so what we're gonna get here is the same idea. It's going to be these two numbers um, uh, I didn't write Sorry, these two numbers are switched. Oh, okay. Those two numbers are switched. So it's those two blue numbers. So this blue number here is 0.9999 times 0 0.00005. And that's what goes on the bottom. Go ahead, say it again. Okay. And on the top, I've got that, which works out to be something like 0 0.6666. 